What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Your boy is doing great because it is Benny Dorm Sunday, continuing on from um season six. So this is episode two, boys and girls. Let's freaking go. Hopefully, you got your snacks. And uh, without further ado, let's go. Yeah, man. I'm sorry, my little friend. We have no, how do you call it? Bandages. Did you hurt yourself bad? No, it's for this. Dios mio. How old are you? 14. Have, have you got any headache tablets? My head's banging. Did you got the hangover? Where is your father? He's in prison. As the English say, no shit, Shylock. <laughs> Get over here, now. Not you! Jesus. I was <laughs> just asking for some bandages to cover my tattoo. Don't make me come over there. Please don't make her come over here. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. Adios, amigo. It was nice knowing you. Michael! Hello, mate. I don't suppose you know if there's any bar jobs going here. What? Do you know if there's any bar jobs going here? Going where? Going here. Going here from where? Do you know if there's any bar jobs available? <laughs> no. There are no jobs. They are not coming, they are not going. There is nothing here for you. Good morning. Is there a problem? That young lad come through here looking for bandages. No problem. I was just asking if there's any job vacancies. But I can see all your staff are... of a certain age. No worries. Have a good day. Hey! What did you mean? I did not all like him. Thanks a lot, pal. I'm sorry, Les. I could not let him get away with saying this. You didn't have to say that. He's got a point. We have had a lot of younger staff leave recently. Then I say good riddance to them. The young ones might be nice to look at, but you can't beat experience. Experience, boys and girls. I told them they were tanning pills. How long does it take to test them? They do it in about 30 seconds on that programme on the telly. They scrape a bit off, put it in that little bag of liquid, shake it, and if it goes blue, it's drugs, job done. Knowing my look, they've probably swallowed a handful and they're waiting to turn brown. Oh. See, they work on teeth as well. <sighs> hey. Ay, caramba! He'll be down when he's hungry. Well, thank you for that inspired insight into the working mind of a teenage boy. What are you having a go at me for? It wasn't me that was supposed to be keeping an eye on him when he went off the rails. It was that Northern family's kid. Dirty plebs. You know he got a tattoo last night. Who? Tiger? No. What's her name, son? Janice. Yes. Your friend, Janice. Oh, will you just drop it? The woman needed a lift to the airport, so I gave her one. In your dreams. A lift to the airport, for God's sake! This place is absolutely crawling. No, it's not. It's fine. You are one cheap bastard. You know that, don't you? Tonya. Yesterday you agreed there was no way this was a four-star and we were moving. Then suddenly, when that manageress knocked 80% off the bill, oh, all of a sudden it's not that bad. And the fact that a member of staff set fire to our towels is a mere inconvenience. Tonya! <laughs> The day you get off your lazy ass and decide to contribute to the income of this family, instead of pissing your life away on coffee mornings and Botox parties, then I'd be more than happy to give you a say in matters of finance. Morning. Oh, Tiger! That's Mummy's little bubba. Mm -hmm. Mum, for God's sake! <laughs> is this mine? Of course it is, darling. Now, what can Mum get you? Nothing. I only came down because it was too noisy to sleep up there. Oh, the couple in the room next door are really going for it. All right, spare us the details, will ya? I did. Good morning. Another day in paradise. All right. Have you settled in, OK? Yes, thank you. I do believe we're neighbours. Oh, God. <laughs> we heard you arguing last night. Quite a humdinger. Yeah, well, no, um... No, no explanations necessary. First time we came to Spain, Jacqueline threw a chest of drawers at me, didn't you? More a vanity, you net. Yeah. It's the heat, you see. Don't worry, you'll soon acclimatise. And don't forget to give us a couple of bangs on the wall if we make too much noise. 
we can get a bit uh, lost in the moment, can't we? Oh, yes. The word tantric springs to mind. <laughs> With us, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> the Luego. I think I'm going to vomit. Oh, yes! Busy out here today? Yeah, it's filling up. Better grab us a couple of sunbeds. Oh, come on, Kenneth. You said now we've got the green light from your Uncle Bertie. We could open the salon properly. Yes, and we will, Liam, love, in great style tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Which means today we have to mentally and physically prepare ourselves. Two sunbeds. Here we are. Two hobby floor bangers. You boys have started early. Yeah, we have a lot to celebrate, Leslie. Namely, tomorrow's grand reopening of Blow and Go. Fantastic. Hey, you kind of fit me in for some highlights, can you? I liked this bob when I first got it, but it needs a bit of jazzle up. Yeah, no problem, love. Damn, yeah, thirsty. Uh, same again, love. No trouble. Are you going to come in to get your hair done, Dad? No, I'm working all day tomorrow. I'll just leave it in the jiffy park at reception. Smash it. Oh, the epitome of a modern parent. Oh, I don't pity him. I think he's fabulous. Two Harvey floor bangers, please, amigo. Oh, Leslie, it's okay for you to do them? I think I'm going for a break. Oh, how weird, man. Play the game. We're absolutely chock a block this morning. <laughs> Allow me. Hey, hey! What are you doing? You'll have to come away from there, lad. It's staff only. Hey, what is wrong with you? Are you a deaf? <laughs> Get out of my bar. What's going on? I don't know. The lad just jumped over the counter. I'm sorry, young man. You'll have to come away from that bar. Are you listening? Leslie, can we get some security here, please? Oh, How lovely. <laughs> Two Harvey floor bangers. Well, my version. Tastes twice as good, but uses half the amount of alcohol. Mateo Jr. Oh, my God, that tastes amazing. Kenneth! I'm sorry, but it does. <laughs> You, come with me. What? Wait! Miss Temple Savage! You say there are no vacancies. Miss Temple Savage! Spinning image of Mateo. Oh, my days, that is absolutely delicious. Say that again. Uh-oh, Kenneth. These references are all well and good, Mr um, Gallagher. Please, call me Jason. Please but as I again. told you before your little outburst behind the bar, we simply have no vacancies. You see? We have no vacancies. Simples. Just take your squash face and your magic powder somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye, have a nice life. You're an all-inclusive. The only way for you to increase profits is to make your customers drink less alcohol. Look, let me work here for one week, for nothing, and then check your stock. I guarantee you'll have used half the alcohol, which means double your profits. Why? you want to work here for a week for nothing? Because I'm desperate for a job. I thought that part was obvious. Miss Temple Savage, if you want me to make fancy cocktails and shake my ass like this one, I can do for you. No offence, mate. I wouldn't shake too hard. Something might fall off. What? What's the saying? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Old dog? OK, that's enough. Come outside with me now and I will kill you. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, 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 hey! How is this? Ow! Ah, no. Get up! No, there. I have just been to the hairdresser. I need to. Stop it! Stop it! For goodness sake, stop it, boys! Stay to both of you. You're all hot and sweaty and... Half naked. Mateo, get back to work. And Jason, you're on a week's trial behind the bar with no pay and no guarantee of a job at the end of it. <sighs> I won't let you down. I'll be everything you want me to be. And more. Oh. All she needs oh. is a vibrator, boys and girls. Oh, flash. I want to stay in the room. You, my lad, not leaving my sight. <laughs> you should all him. 
hobbling? What does that mean? Break his ankles, like in that film, Misery. He wouldn't get far then. I think this arrangement will do just fine for now. Thank you, Mother. Oh, on, Mikey. Keep walking. Scum. Leave it, Mother. Sit down. I don't need a peep at you, Jamie. Good morning. Do you go home at any point or do you actually live here? Aye. Every time we come here on holiday, you're here. We always have the same two weeks every year. Same two weeks? <laughs> We're creatures of habit, that's us, isn't it, Jacqueline? Oh, yeah. Creatures is the right word. You get a job frightening kids to bed. Get up <laughs> off that, it's for your father. My father's not here. Yeah, well, he will be. I'm off to get him. How do you know they're even going to let him out? Thanks to where he could be locked up all week. Don't you blame me. Well, whose fault is it, then? Everything OK with Mick? Yeah, everything's fine, thank you. No, everything's not fine. Thanks to where my dad's been held at Alicante Airport for suspected drug smuggling. Oh, I told you. Obble him. I'll hold his legs for you. What are you doing? I'm not sitting next to her. I want to be in the shade. Well, I'm not sitting in the shade, so you can piss off. You are going to sit where I put you. And if I come back and you've moved one inch, believe me, you'll wish you had been gobbled. Gobbled. Whatever. Janice, if Mick is in some kind of trouble with the authorities, we may be able to help you. Oh, yeah, that's all you need. The Fritzel's fighting your case for you. How do you mean? But Jacqueline and I have a direct contact at the British consulate. Dropping the right name in the right place can open a few doors. Or at least the one Mick is currently sitting behind. Oh, just swing where Mama can see you, darling. Shut up. Oh, he's tired. Oh, my God. What? She's going off with that bloke. What bloke? That rough bird has gone off with one of the swingers. Oh, my God. That's it. This is a swingers hotel. You have brought us to a swingers hotel. Don't be ridiculous. Where are you going? I'm going to give him a lift to the airport. No, you are not. I promised her I'd take her back there today. I'll be back as soon as I can. Clive, I'm warning you, if you leave me here on my own, I will not talk to you for the rest of this holiday. You drive a hard bargain, but you got yourself a deal. Damn! Bastard! Treat him mean, keep him keen. Must be terrible to be a hen-pecked husband. We had this geography teacher at school, Mr Pickering, and we all thought he was gay because he was a bit, well, camp. And we went on a school trip to France. And one night he got drunk and told us that not only was he married, but he wanted to leave his wife for Mrs Raymond, the history teacher. And even though she knew he was married, she still didn't believe Mr Pickering was straight. Can you imagine? A big, wet lettuce who just can't meet the right girl cos everybody thinks he's gay. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you OK, Baba? Yeah. You want anything from the shop? No, thank you, my sweet pea. Yoink! Oh, there's money in my purse if you need it, darling. Oh, um, thanks. much longer now. Great. And then when we get to the bus station in Benidorm, the bus is to Alicante here at least one every hour. Where is the bus station in Benidorm? Can't we just walk there? No, oh, no, I'm afraid not. I picked up a rather nasty groin injury while filling in for a friend at the London Naturist Olympics last month. A trampoline can be a pretty savage piece of equipment when you're completely naked. Can I give you a lift? Well, fine, thank you. Wonderful. Alicante Airport, if it's not too much trouble. I said we're fine, thank you. Look, I heard about the tattoo. 
I'm sorry my tiger was with your son at the time, but you can't blame him. No, I'm sure he wasn't to blame. Look, uh, thank you for the offer of a lift, but no thank you. We've never been here before. My son wouldn't know where to get a tattoo. You see, they've never been here before. If your son goes anywhere near my son in the next week... Oh, dear, there goes the bus. Jesus. Well, why didn't it stop? This is supposed to be a bus stop. I think it might have something to do with this carving part here. Oh, oh dear, the natives are turning ugly. Come on, I think we better get in. Pero que les quitar el coche de aquí ya, hombre. Quitas el coche, pi, 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 pi. Que no que se pasa el autobús. Boo! Oh, hey, all right. Vete. No, ni hoy, right, ni nai. Uy, por Dios, anda, que tira. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> I don't really smoke, to be honest. Really? <coughs> you can't tell. <coughs> Go on, son, cough it up. <coughs> Might be a gold watch. What does that mean? I don't know. Something your old man says. Beer? <coughs> <coughs> no, I think I'll just have an orange juice. Um, one orange juice and one beer, please, mate. It's for my dad. I don't remember much about it. We were in that bar on the beach front for ages. Then you said you wanted to get a tattoo. Really? I said that. Yeah, man. I was like, a tattoo, are you serious? How old are you again? And you were like, yeah, I've wanted one for ages. I don't remember ever wanting a tattoo. You tried to talk me into getting one, but I was like, dude, you're joking. That shit is on your body for life. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's this? It's the all-inclusive wristbands. They've changed the packaging. It said in my stars, today would be full of thrilling surprises. Hasta luego. Hasta and bigger to you as well. Oh. Maria, take this to my office, would you? Uh, hello. Yes, Solana. Joy's Temple Savage speaking. How much spending money did you bring this holiday, Marky? Not much. Plus, I spent it all yesterday on drinks and then this tattoo. You fancy making a bit of money? Tell me about this one again. Oh, my times. That one's the watermark. The one with the slides on the front and the water. And they've got animals here? No, you've not been listening. That's this one, the Terra Natura. The one with the lion on the front. Oh, Mike. Racist. Having learning difficulties isn't a race. Please let go of my arm. People have ignored me all my life just because I can't read or write. I'm not ignoring you. I'm trying to get rid of you. And my dad hits me. I'm not surprised. Oh, oh, oh dear. <sighs> Savage, baby. Oh, for God's sake, Maria. It would have been far too easy to put them on the desk. Miss Temple Savage, I think you better come outside. What's the problem, Liam? I'm up to my eyes in it. Mateo is trying to strangle the new member of staff. Oh, for goodness sake. It's like running a zoo. Get up here! A lethal dwarf! Oh, shit! I'll think about what you're doing! Get off me, Leslie! Oh, 
I've never seen anything like it. Really? <laughs> oh, I have. In fact, this is basically my DVD collection. <laughs> Apart from the tranny pensioner, of course. Stop it! The lot of you, just stop it! Will you stop it? Stop it! I tell you, what the hell is going on? This guy is trying to make me look stupid. <coughs> you don't need any help with that, mate. Oh. Ah! Inside! He cannot just come and take <coughs> over my bath. You are working on reception all this week. Mr. Temper Savage, I please... I said inside. Now. I'm sorry about that. Mr. Castellano can be a little territorial, but it's all healthy competition. Healthy competition? You just tried to strangle me. It means he likes you. Yeah. God help you if you didn't. Word. Brandy. <laughs> Brandy. Take the second road on the left. I'm going on the toll road. No, 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 for heaven's sake, man. Have you fallen out with your money? Isn't the toll road meant to be quicker? I know a really good shortcut. Stay on this road. I think the toll road's better. It's only three euros. <laughs> what are you doing? You lunatic! You could have had us all killed there! <laughs> Winker! <laughs> Look after the pennies, and the pounds will look after themselves. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Gravy. We have the results back on your contraband. It's Garvey. Excuse me? My name's Garvey, not Gravy. I am here to tell you, Mr. Gravy, to traffic drugs into this country is a criminal offence. Oh, God, I, I didn't smuggle anything. They weren't even mine. An offence that carries a minimum fine of 1,000 euros and a maximum jail sentence of 25 years. I want a solicitor. I want a solicitor here now. Can you imagine spending the rest of your life in a jail cell no bigger than this room? No. Can you imagine being incarcerated for 23 hours a day, never seeing your loved ones again, eating flies and cockroaches to keep you alive? No. Then, it is lucky for you, the contents of these tablets is nothing but herbal. What? They are herbal. There is nothing in them that concerns us. You are free to go. What was all that about, then? What was all what about? The 23 hours a day locked in a tiny cell eating cockroaches. My local drama society are soon having open auditioning for the musical Oliver. I'm hoping for the part of Mr. Bumbles. You think I'm in with a shot? Your possessions are outside the door. Mr. Gravy, welcome to Spain. Dickhead. One boy, boy for Right. I'm pretty certain if we turn around, I might just be able to find the way back to the toll road. Oh, brilliant. I shot Donald. Went to Mo, went to Mo. I'm Shut up! <laughs> Love this guy. Oh, shit. I want now 20 euros each, unlimited alcohol, food, and use of all four star facilities. Mark. Shit, look. Um, OK, sorry, ladies and gents, my business partner and I will be back later, but I've just remembered an appointment we've got of a swimming pool and a couple of bottles of San Miguel. All right, young one. They cannot do this to me. Listen, pal, you're going to have to wind your neck in. Or losing your job's going to be the least of your problems. I have to do what with my neck? But Auntie Leslie's got a little plan up her sleeve. I say to the new barman, there's no point doing the whole week's unpaid work when we can settle this with a grand cocktail competition. You against him. The audience decides the winner. The loser leaves the salada. But how can I do this? He's better than me with his juggling and his gay fairy dust. 
It is at the moment, but I'm going to cover your shift while you spend the day with my mate, Calvino. Who is Calvino? Places, airports. You reckon? Oh, yes. There's a young man I used to hang about Glasgow Airport for hours on end. I bet you did. Every face tells a story. This guy, for instance. Who is Miguel? A long lost son, a, a feuding brother, an illicit affair? Are you on drugs? It's just a taxi driver. Okay. Then what about this one then? On the face of it, a young carefree holidaymaker? But I say, High-class European prostitute. <laughs> Only works for the high rollers. Every night, a different country. Every night, a different millionaire Arab sheikh. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, she's quite something. <laughs> Don't forget to ask for a VAT receipt. Bianca? Dad! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the Maldives. Well, I... I came to see you. What do you mean you came to see me? From the Maldives? Well, not just you. Mum, Tiger. Why didn't you call me? When did you book your flight? What's going on? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> it's all right, everything's all right. <laughs> now, tell me, what's going on? He's left me. Hugo's left me. What? I want my mama. Come on, Princess, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Mama! <laughs> Donald's still thinking prostitute. He's gone. He left half an hour ago. Who? Mick, my husband. Who did you think I was talking about? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, blast. We must just have missed him. Thanks to your shortcut. Where's Clive? I think we've been dumped. What do you mean, dumped? For a high-class European prostitute. I must say, I had Clive down as being a little reserved, but you should have seen him. He was like a ferret up a drain pipe. <laughs> He's not answering his phone. Well, you better make him answer his phone. And how am I supposed to do that? Look, you don't even know if your grandson is with my son. Oh, he's with him all right. First time I saw your lad, I thought, there's trouble. I beg your pardon. Oh, it's always the same. Slow kids at school drag the others down to their level. What? Oh, yes. I spotted your lad a mile off. A wonky fringe, a fat tongue and a lazy eye. Face like he's been chasing park carts. Now, you listen to me. Hey, I'm getting... Shh! Heel! And where the frig have you been? You know full well where I've been. They went to collect you ages ago. I can only apologise for the toxic dumping ground, otherwise known as my mother-in-law's gob. Don't you apologise to me. Oh, you're Mick. My husband went to find your wife to give a lift to the airport. Been gone some time, haven't they? You won't see them for the rest of the day. Shut up, or I'll sit you in the shade. You do no such frigging thing. Yeah, I think I saw your husband yesterday at the airport. Uh, short fella, brown hair, face like a squash frog. That's him. All right. I must have just missed him. Mick Harvey. <laughs> Tonya, Tonya Dyke. <laughs> well, Mrs. Dyke, <laughs> I'm uh, sure your husband will be back soon and I can thank him for giving my missus a, a lift. He's an idiot. And don't worry, he'd never make a move on your wife. No, no, I wasn't suggesting... I mean, for one, he knows I would cut his balls off and, two, he probably couldn't reach. <laughs> Dad! Hey, all right? When did you get here? Just now. Hey, what have you done to your arm? I uh, bent it in the pool. You burnt it in the pool? Well, yeah, I was in the pool and my arm was resting on the side and I forgot to put sun cream on. Um, where's my mum? Uh, come on, let's go and wait for her in reception. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, laters. Never forget, Baba. Whatever people say about you, 
Your mama thinks you are beautiful. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Where on earth did you learn to toss your bottles like that? If it's not a rude question. Just picked up stuff working in bars. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. So how long have you worked here for? Just over a year now. Came here on holiday. Couldn't face going back home. Tell me about it. Well, I think you're doing a great job. Oh, why, thank you, sir. <laughs> I mean, I love kids, but I couldn't work with them all the time. Kids? Yeah. What do you mean? You are a kids entertainer, aren't you? No. Oh, sorry, mate. I just thought we'd be dressed like a clown. A clown? Uh, you know, the garish clothes, the padding, the makeup. I am wearing the slightest touch of foundation. And as for me clothes, hang on, did you just say padding? Look, mate, loads of people wear fancy dress in Benidorm. No offence, yeah? Hello? Yes, ladies. I am not wearing fancy dress! Excuse me? Can you tell me where Dickie Donuts Kids Club is? Piss off! Can't have should have bitch slapped that guy. Come on, sweet pea. Dry your eyes. Your mum's by the pool. This is where you're staying? Oh, my God, what a dump. Hugo booked us into a five-star beach bungalow in the Maldives. Yeah, but then he chucked you. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, baby. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Come on, let's go outside. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, thanks, Pop. Nenara, hey, little friend, did you manage to cover up Jotat? Oh, my Ben, yeah, yeah. It's really nicely, thanks. What is Ben? I was talking about Jotat. Tan. tan Ben, yeah, yeah. I've just put some sun cream on it. Come on, Dad, should we go sit over there? Yeah, if you like. Hey, Alfonso, cubra me. Gracias, chaval. Hasta luego. Where's he going? Uh, he's in training for the Benetton Marathon. Benetton Marathon? I've never heard such rubbish. You'll be telling me there's a Benetton Weight Watchers group next. <laughs> 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 Nick! Hey. Oh, oh, I've been worried about you. I'm all right. We went to pick you up, but... Well, it's a long story. All's well that ends well. As one ex-con to another, I hope your time in the pokey wasn't too hard. Uh, if you get my drift. <laughs> no, thankfully I don't. Right, have you got a key? I've got to have a shower. I don't mind smelling my own B.O., but uh, I'm starting to taste it now. Mm, there you go. All right. Mm. Mm. Ah, right, see you outside. Mm. Mum, can you do me a favour? What? Come on, not tell me Dad about my tattoo. Not just yet. Well, he's going to find out about it eventually. But you've got a point. I think he's had enough for one day. I got a tattoo while in prison. It's the letters WW. I won't tell you where it is, but suffice to say, when I tie my shoelaces, it says, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Cold. Wow. Hold work. <laughs> right, come on. Sup up. Got to get these back to the Solana. I was the one who said we didn't have time for a drink. Shh. I'm just going to say thanks to Eduardo for these bottles. Thanks for these, Eddie, love. I'll get them back to you sometime tomorrow. No problem. So you've definitely never seen him? Sorry. Have you lost somebody? You've not seen this fella, have you? I've got quite a substantial reward for any information leading to it. I think me and you need to have a little talk. Are we going or what? One for the road, Liam, love. One for the road. Have you seen Leslie? I think she's working on the pool bar. We're absolutely mobbed. You haven't got a spare few hours, have you? Oh, no, not really. Liam and I are about to go to the plans for the grand reopening of Blow and Go tomorrow. You better not be selling those drinks in your salon. Oh, they're not real. They're made of rubber. Oh, let me go on to know. Are you sure you can't spare a couple of hours? No, I'm sorry, Joyce, we're rushed up our feet. Fifteen euros an hour. Where do you want us? Well, you on reception, or you behind the bar. Oh, I don't mind going behind the bar. No, thank you. The profits are narrow enough as it is. That's charming. If you need me, I'll be in rag times.
Right. Savannah Benedum. Uno. Dos. Dos. That's 11.30 outside the hotel. And I don't want to go to no crappy karaoke bar. I've got very expensive taste. I'm sure you have. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. Right. Looks like I'm going to have to go to work earlier than planned. Could be me. Eh, no te vayas. Mira cómo está esto. You lost something? Uh, no. Just looking for Joyce, you know, the manager. Well, you won't find her in the top drawer behind reception. She usually has a break in the second drawer down. <laughs> second drawer. Very good. <laughs> She's in rag times. Oh, yeah, rag times. Catch you later. No. I'll catch you later. Hey! You know what's going on? It's packed. Excuse me, look, have you got a table for four? I'm sorry, Pet, we're absolutely chock up luck. Well, where are we supposed to eat our dinner? I'm sorry, Mr. C.H. I can maybe get you four chairs from the Hawaiian function room, but we can't fit any more tables in. It's disgusting. You should all be shocked. They say that you're a runaround lover. Oh, you say it isn't so. But if you put me down for a night. This is ridiculous. I put so much gravy on my pie, it keeps going all over my shorts. We'll eat this, and then we'll go outside near the pool. What, in the dark? Well, do you want to sit up here all night? I wanted to do karaoke. Oh, and it always boils down to what you want to do, doesn't it? Hey, I've already lost the first two days of meal holiday because of you. Just watch it. What's the difference? You're never around when people need you anyway. Tell her, tell her, Janice, because I am going to lose it big time. Shut up, the pair of you. Do you mind having your argument a bit later? I'm trying to sing. And we're trying to eat our dinner. You say that you're at home and you bored me. This competition, I didn't sanction it. Look at it this way if people are watching, they're not drinking. Oh, that's true. Ask them to spin it out as long as possible. Hey, amigo, we owe Calvino a jumping jack 65 euros. The little bugger. He said he was giving me the cocktail lessons for now. Oh, it is not for the lessons. It is for all the bottles of alcohol I smashed. <laughs> Looks like I've arrived in the nick of time. Practice bottles from the beach. It's not who you know till you've slept with. One of these days you're gonna be sorry. Complimentary cocktails. Thank you very much. Bianca, will you please eat something? I don't want to eat nothing. I don't want to eat nothing. She is grieving. You've got to eat something. You've had nothing all day. I'll have something later when I go out. Go out? Where are you going out? Going out with a friend later. Friends? Friends? You haven't got any friends. I think you'll find it's you that hasn't got any friends. Where are you going, Baba? Just out for some drinks with a couple of girls I was talking to earlier. Mm, lovely. When did you speak to them? I didn't see you speaking to any girls. Oh, for goodness sake, will you shut up whining? It's all you've done since the moment you arrived. I reckon she's going to have a hot dog instead, boys and girls. I'm liking this. Good week. Michael, have you finished with them chips? Well, that's the end of my first set this evening. I'd like to thank my backing group for eating their pies in time to the music. I couldn't have done it without you. Do you want me pastry? No, of course I don't want your pastry. It's soggy. Nearly finished.
Your fish pie will be here in a minute. No rush. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. Reminds me of the old Amsterdam days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, ladies and gentlemen, we have two competitors. Jason and Matteo. <laughs> the cocktail is six on the beach. <laughs> and we have three categories to score. Bottle technique, cocktail Whoa. appearance, and cocktail flavour. <laughs> Take the way, boys. Mateo! <laughs> Excuse me, are you Joyce Temple Savage? That is I. How can I be of assistance? I can't help noticing you're rather busy this evening. We're a very popular four-star hotel. My name's Beverly Westwood. I'm in it four-star. I manage the all-inclusive Alberta on the front. Oh, yes, I'm aware of it. How can I help? We're rather busy tonight. Yes, rather busy with too many guests. Guess wearing all-inclusive wristbands. Stolen wristbands, I bet. Stolen? Oh, yes. And I've come to get the person responsible. <laughs> He's right on the floor, you man. Do something in class. Come on! Later. Oh, calm down. What's the problem? All right, you'll see it, but I'm going. Oi, come here! What friggin' hell's that? Hey, answer me. When did you get this? <laughs> then I got the tip off that he'd been seen here, so I came over. I knew something wasn't right when he offered to work for free. Very perceptive. Mm. The lad's got various scams, wristbands just being one of them. He worked for us as a lifeguard. He nicked everything apart from the water in the pool. Little. Oh, no. Please, allow me. Not bad. This looks like a salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 not bad. <clears throat> Just about the same. Rubbish! Now let's have your votes by way of applause, first of all, for the brilliant Mario! Ah! And for our second competitor, yes. <laughs> Looks like a dead heat to me. Yeah! Sorry, mate. You can't argue a public opinion. Oh, I think you can. Yeah, well, he 
says your son did it. I didn't say that. I said he was with me. Are you accusing my boy of forcing your son to get a tattoo? Absolute scum. I knew it the first time I set eyes on this family. I beg your pardon. Just leave it. Give him a smack in the gob. See how he likes that. I'm not going to be doing that much because. Oh, get What is going on? I think the new boy has just resigned. Do I keep my job? What do you think? Now get behind that bar. Definitely a lot more fighting and bickering going on, and I love it. I love the fighting. I love the bickering. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, something about Clive just telling somebody, shut up! Oh, that feels so damn good. Oh, man, because, you know, it, it, it's something you don't expect someone to do, and when it doesn't, man, that, oh, man, it's, it's priceless. Now, Donald... <laughs> Donald, I ain't ever going to trust no guy Donald like that, uh, you know, with these damn, oh yeah, it's going to be a shortcut. Never trust nobody that does no shortcut. And I can't believe, man, he, he's talking to Clive and he's like, man, look at that prostitute right there. And it's this man's daughter. I would have smacked the shit out of him, man, for that shit. But uh, so, you know, he's a better man than I am. And he just walked up to her. So... I say, I think the, the name of the daughter was Bianca. So she's definitely going to have a hot dog at some point. Or at least I thought she was before uh, this scumbag. What I re respect and love. Leslie, Kenneth, uh, loyalty. That is like one of the best things. And, 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 and uh, not to go too crazy into it, but it's a... Uh, you know, it's very difficult, and a lot of people don't, um, you know, have that. You know, uh, I find that a lot in life that, you know, just a lot of people are just not loyal. And seeing them, you know, have Mateo's back, love that. I love that. So, you know, you saw Kenneth saying, Mateo, Mateo, freaking Leslie, you know, taking one for the team. I don't even know what type of drink Mateo made. That shit was looking like a Caesar salad. Man, that shit was looking gross. But, man, he was like, oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, you know, you got to love Leslie for that, having his back. Um, I tell you, you know, uh, as much as we've seen them, and, again, some of them are newer, obviously, um, you know, with Kenneth and, uh, you know, Leslie having a more active role, you know, once they really started getting into it. Um, I love them as characters. My boy Mateo, if he would have officially, like, lost and, and and been kicked out that shit would have been whack i'm you know uh there's no there's no contest you know you got mateo and you got mateo jr there yeah he does all that fancy shit but man, fuck all that shit so screw that shit you can't replace mateo he's one of the best characters in the show for me um great to see mick or you know or aka mr gravy <laughs> you know that guy just calling him gravy oh man that's just, something about that was really funny um yeah, I, I do like right now uh, the new family uh, with the, you know, Garvey's in here, of course. Um, they are definitely an interesting bunch. And, I you know, you could just foresee they're going to get into a lot of interesting, um, you know, engagements and, and arguments and stuff like that. You saw Mick when he was looking at uh, Tonya. Tonya. Uh, he was like, yeah, he was like, he was looking up and down a little bit. You know, he's like, yeah, this is this is quite nice, you know. And, and the missus wasn't there, you know, but Mick has always kind of had that wandering eye. Always had that. Uh, so, you know, my hopes he gets in trouble somehow, get, you know, with the lady. I don't know. So I just I feel it. I feel it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just loving the season so far. It's really good. Um, yeah, I would say... That the family is a great addition. The new family is a great addition. Uh, you know, Clive is cool, and, and Tonya, Tonya, and uh, we'll we'll see more of adventures with Michael and Tiger. And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. So we're just gonna keep on going. It has plenty of laughs for me. Uh, you know, it it doesn't miss a beat. 
And, you know, we've grown so used to a lot of the characters. So it's good to see some of them at least still uh, stay on the show and remain here because, um, you know, they're, they're, they're always a great addition. So we didn't see Noreen today uh, in the episode. So just something I noticed. And one thing we noticed was that, you know, how you guys always tell me, look at uh, Kenneth's T-shirt. So now I'm looking at his chain now. But I also noticed when he was hanging out with Liam, now he has bags with words on it too. So, you know, his thing said uh, something about baggage, uh, you know, carry baggage or, or some shit like that. So it's interesting. Uh, I like that dynamic between Liam and Kenneth. I think they're a good group, uh, you know, good duo, the same way that I think uh, Leslie, Mateo, great, great duo. So it's a lot of cool uh, friendships uh, that have been formed, but, you know, that's what makes the show so good, you know, getting to know the characters, seeing the adventures, uh, you know, we can't forget Donald and Jacqueline, oh, yes, I just, every time I hear that, that just puts a smile on my face in the, the craziest way, and uh, the scene where Mateo was choking um, the kid, uh, you know, he's choking the kid, and you got Leslie kind of coughing a feel on Mateo a little bit, and it just looked like the only threesome orgy. They're like, yeah, <laughs> just, that shit was crazy. So a lot of good stuff in store. We'll continue on with the journeys. Just know plenty of laughs in store right now. Uh, and just going to enjoy each episode, boys and girls. So thank you so much. And, um, whoa, whoa, my screen turned black for a second there. Whoa, got me nervous there. But, um, yeah, just thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like. Helps out the channel. Leave a comment. And um, we'll see you next time. Peace and love. Peace.